And that's what you gotta understand. The UFO community is on cloud nine, and they they the stars right now. So like I've been sitting here telling people behind, I can say behind the scenes. I don't, you don't see me on no damn Facebook, you know. You don't be seeing me on Facebook. I don't do this no more. Cause when they deleted my no, when they kept deleting my accounts and then they put me in Facebook at that time, I created the consciousness <laughs> war. So I don't I said fuck Facebook. I don't need you no more. Bye, Facebook. Yeah, too, I'm still you seeing me a long time, did you? Jail. But are anyway. Still, are y'all still seeing people get from Facebook jail? I'm still seeing it. Yes. Yes, they do it. Yes. Yes. I knew yes, that they, they were it. listening to us in Messenger, but I'm gonna tell you the other day I cut somebody out and I sent them a penis and I said, eat a dick. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. And I sent them a picture of a giant whopping penis. And it said, warning, you just sent something that was inappropriate. So if you sex chatting out there on, and you think because you in the messenger that they not watching you, they are. But we figured uh, that a couple of years ago, remember, because you would hear the clicking uh-huh. when you were doing your messages or whatever. So, yeah, they, they well, I, I mean, people know me on Facebook. You know, I talk about the archon. Well, Facebook, YouTube. Not Twitter now because the Alliance must have took over Twitter, so they're cleaning out, but they still got problems because I'm still a shadow band up there. But all that shit is infested with the Archons. So all, every time I, when I was on Facebook, every time I got the 50 views, everything got attacked. Phones, laptop, every time. And when me and Scott was doing lives, at, we got 200, 500 people watching us. They destroyed that shit. They knocked every fucking thing off. And, you know, I just found some old videos when I was still in the closet. That's rare right now because they deleted some of my videos. I got to publish those videos again. I got some little, little recordings. I was, when I was getting attacked, I was recording from another phone. I got to sell phone. those on DVD in the, <laughs> in the box set. <laughs> exactly. Those you classic know, things. you be like, okay, you'll be next to R. Kelly. Oh, right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, like I said, so with the news going on, okay. Disclosure has happened. But the thing that's happening right now, because you got these UFO people that be on Ancient Elliots, they all the stars, you know, Nick Pope, I mean, Stephen Grill, Linda Moten Howe, George Knapp, this Jeremy Corbell guy, and, you know, and also with these Navy pilots for a while, but now they, they, they like the, the, the superstar whistleblowers. But the thing that's what people are not noticing, where the hell is the representation of the ET disclosure committee? Why I don't see no contact these star seeds? Why Alice Carey not on Laura Ingram? Why the fuck I'm seeing Leslie King and all this bullshit? Why Laura ain't up there? You know, I don't see nobody in the Scotia community being represented in this transition of official UFO disclosure that's happening now. I mean, well, I think, uh, go ahead, Scott. Well, you know, you know what the deal is. See, I'm not excited about this disclosure because I mean, uh, because the government coming out with ETs and they're going to come and tell us everything. Not at all. You know what I mean? Well, they're, they're, they have their, they have their plan. Their, their limited hangout. Their, their, their drip, drip disclosure and they got it all lined up. No, but what gets me excited is, you see, for the last hundred years, they've had the, the lid on this whole ET thing. They've had people giggle at it. They've had people think it's conspiracy theory. They've had people denounce it completely. But now, they're changing the narrative, you know? They're, they're, they're taking their lie that they've had bottled up all this time and they're letting it out. Now it doesn't, mm-hmm. and to me, it doesn't matter how they're letting it out because that's where we come in. Because people are gonna start wanting yes. the real truth. They're gonna see through their little bullshit disclosure because it's not gonna make sense. You can't mm-hmm. lie away the last, uh, last hundred years. You know exactly. what I mean? And we, and we know the timeline that happened. We know all the bullshit that they've done. We mm-hmm. know all the people they kidnapped and tortured and right. raped. You know what I'm saying? All the people they've used in these exactly. programs. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And we're not going to let that shit ride. No. You know what I mean? We're, that's what we're here for. And I people are going to want to know. They came out with that. Look, so I already started behind the scenes on Telegram. I did multiple, two lives. I, I, I participated in, well, I did one live and I participated in another live telling people, hey, Disclosure is not being represented in, this, in here. So what the fuck? 
we need to do. So I already released that. That's on Rumble. That's already published. I've already done that. That was two hour live. Well, I, I was <laughs> done because I remember when you got when you you know when you were talking about the telescope, and I was like, well, yeah. if you can see all the way, if you can see all the way to Jupiter, why haven't you released better pictures of the moon? Like that's <laughs> <laughs> or the Earth, for God's that's, sake. That's right. ignorant. If you can see all the way to Jupiter, but how is it crystal clear exactly. all the way to Jupiter? What's in between me and Jupiter that I don't see flying? I should see every speck of dust. I should see everything. Oh, yeah. like, it don't make right. sense. That a, that a damn James Well should be able to see all you know we, all we, in. We don't have a good picture of the goddamn Earth. People keep going on this data belt flatter, and we don't even have a real good picture. I mean, all the fucking shit that they can do with all the camera work they can do, and we ain't got a nice clear picture of a nice curvature of the earth or some ocean. I mean, what the oh, fuck? Seriously. It. Like, look, look at look at Jermaine's picture behind him. You know what I'm saying? That's not a real fucking picture. Right. Why can't we get a real fucking picture of the goddamn earth? I was done like, with that fuck? telescope. <laughs> I was done with the telescope. I was like, y'all need this shit. I don't want to hear shit about no pictures with no telescope. I don't want to hear nothing about it. Yeah, but the, the crazy thing about the Show telescope, me the pyramids on yeah. Mars. Show me the pyramids on Mars. Look, the crazy thing about the telescope <laughs> is already destroyed the Big Bang Theory because they say, oh, shit, we, it's galaxies that are bigger than they supposed to be because it's supposed to be only 300 million years after the Big Bang. So how the fuck you got galaxies bigger than the Milky Way? So it's doing something, whoever, whatever the fuck is there for, is doing something. But, I, you know, my, my argument, I've been saying, like, recent, um, recent years, Shit, the, the the Navy been having a Starfleet for eighty plus years. How do we know that the Hubble isn't fucking real? That could they could have went up to a fucking nebula, put the damn goddamn camera on the ship out, and zoomed in on the nebula and say, "Hey, that's the that's your goddamn Hubble pictures." Right. I mean, we don't know. Let me tell so, you something about the moon yeah. landing thing, though, because I tell people this is why the moon landing pictures don't make sense. Because when you get to the moon, the moon is so much smaller than the Earth. Mm -hmm. And when you look back with the camera, you shouldn't be looking at the earth being big. Be, the earth shouldn't be like you see the moon. Like you're looking back from the moon to the earth. Yeah, simple the moon optics. It's yeah. like this small thing, like the earth, like it makes sense when you look backwards because it's so big. You mm -hmm. should be looking at something gigantic in the right. picture when you're looking from the moon. So that just number one, just boom. Then you say, oh, there were, we're just learning there was a cameraman. Like what? Last year you you never told us the name of the cameraman till like last year. That don't make sense, right? <laughs> when you first came out with film, when you used to have film back in the day, like it would explode and stuff. So development of film over time. But you're right. telling me that in the '60s, film was so good that right. it worked in a place that you never been at before. You never been there before, right? But now you got a camera equipment that actually just works there in a different atmosphere that it's never been to before. Just stuff that yeah. doesn't make sense to me. Even you yeah. throw it, you know, I'm going to take right. my phone and I'm going to throw it someplace that has never been before and I'm going to make sure that it gets back. Tell me how the fuck you did that. Because you dropped your rockets off, right? <laughs> to shoot the thing to the moon. You dropped your rockets off. How did you get back? Oh, you just float it. I just kind of float it back. And, and like, none of that None of that shit makes sense to me. Let's, so, let's not forget the fact that the lander looked like tinfoil. Like, what the fuck right. are we even talking about? And what about what the fucking radiation I, belt with the Van Allen radiation belt? Which is your fucking Merc? Is the Merc of the Earth? That's the Merc of the field of yeah. the Earth. That's what the fuck that is. That's, that's the, uh, it's, it's pure, it's ra dangerous radiation. Because they got this trap around the earth, you know, the right. the, the soul trap. So that's the fuck. They, they basically twisted the earth Merkaba field into some nap. And that's where you got the Van Allen radiation belt. So how the fuck they get through there? Ten four uh, uh, final. Ten four final. fucking ten four, four and, 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 luminal four. That shit can't protect no fucking radiation. That's nonsense. <laughs> like yeah, that's what Jack said. That's exactly what Jack said. So. You know, so I stopped watching stuff about this closure because I'm really just at this point where I feel like, you know, we've known about aliens since movies were black and white. The Flintstones has aliens. It was my favorite. Everything is always pointing to aliens. Even I saw a speech by Benjamin Franklin that said all, the, you know, he talked about the world and then he said the inhabitants of Mars and Venus. Mm -hmm. So Benjamin Franklin was talking about aliens. If you go back and look, yep. just books that we haven't read that talk about aliens. So if anybody really doesn't know that we have aliens, I really just 
I have nothing to say to that. Well, that go, that goes back to my point, Erica. Of, of course, uh, like <laughs> people know, but they, they, they have to be told by authorities. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they, their authority figures have to tell them. You know what I mean? And the fact that they're doing that right now. You can't mean voice. Authority. <laughs> <laughs> authority. Authority. <laughs> they, they respect their authority. <laughs> but no, they, 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 the fact that they're even doing this, letting go of their biggest secret, it, it, there has to be a reason for that. You know what I mean? It, it, I think because like, it's laughable. We talked about them having forced disclosure. Like these ETs are saying, we're coming whether you like it or not. We're coming out. People from the inner earth saying, hey, we're coming out, living among you, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. there's also the cameras that came out where you can film UFOs like now, like mm -hmm. they they're, they're fast enough to have many enough frames per second. And if you change them to where they're uh, 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 heat sensitive, I, I forget. You have to change the settings where you can see them. They're cloaked, but they're all over the place. They're flying all over the place around us. And it's going to get to the point where that camera that came out recently, it's super expensive now, but eventually, you know, give it five, 10 years, that'll be in everyone's pockets. And then what, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like, they're really, they kind of have no choice. We're forcing disclosure. And that's, that. I think that they are paying attention to people like us talking too, because like, Oh, of oh yes. We we're Never. forcing mm -hmm. the issue as well with what we're doing. Like mm -hmm. we're, we're forcing. Well, that's why they got to read our Facebook messages and make movies about it. <laughs> yeah, me and Jermaine learned that what was it three years ago Jermaine when they were uh, when Johan Fritz yeah said that he had a buddy that uh, yeah he <laughs> did some uh, AI that, shit on, our, on the, on the live read, that we doing it, anytime his name would pop up on the internet anywhere it would alert him you know what I'm yeah. saying so that's how he got alerted that we were talking about him on one of our lives Crazy. yeah yep <clears throat> and that was he three was years that. ago you know what right. I mean so and then, of They've course, we did that interview and the Archons fucked up the interview on Facebook and we didn't get uh, enough copies or the cop. I had a copy on the Zoom, but they deleted the fucking copy. And I, did, I guess oh, um, Johan never did. downloaded the copy. So we lost that whole damn interview. That was a good interview. We was finding out about the ship, the operations of the Starship and all that that he was on. I mean, they fucked their whole thing up. So, so say hi to Susan, Lazonda, Jax, Bill Davis. Matthew Turner, um, I was on his show yesterday, uh, and Susan Long, thanks for watching, y'all. But yeah, go ahead. Um, it's, oh, yeah. I, I, I think there's saying, so, the uh, bag that, is so filled with people who believe that, you know, just mm -hmm. busting out of the bag. You know, you can't hold all the potatoes in the bag anymore. The bag is too full, and <laughs> it's it, we're spilling over, and, you know. Right, yeah. And... So still like Dave Wilcox movies on, you know, <laughs> it's on Amazon. People make movies, but now too, you think people can make any movie they want too. So not only can they film what they want, people can make as many movies as they want. They got um a whole disclosure channels. Um, remember Jermaine, how we saw that? Mm -hmm. Uh William Shatner is on a whole nother channel talking about this. Uh Dan Aykroyd is talking oh, about Oh, you're talking about Samsung TV Plus. Yep. Yeah. yeah Dan mm -hmm. People like Dan Aykroyd and different people, they used to be able to get away with um that one redhead lady and laugh at her. I forget. It's Warren Beatty's sister. Yeah, it's it, it, and William Shatner's all in this stuff. And you and you gotta think that he was literally on the show that was supposed to bring about disclosure yeah and they laughed at shirley you know mcclain I mean? no, they the, made fun of shirley mcclain the whole time they got her kicked out of hollywood she was very popular and shirley mcclain believed in psychic stuff they just made her into a nut job yeah you got to believe that william shatner on that show was asking questions like after after the first couple of seasons like all right where the hell y'all getting all this shit from like what <laughs> like where's where this material coming from? I have to think you know that I mean? certain people are in certain movies based on their security clearance. Have you and look, thought about thing. that? Like because you have mm -hmm. clearance, that, that you get to be in certain movies because you have that level of clearance. That's true. He's probably an asset of some sort. He, he would have to be. I mean, and I mean, and on your that, point. On your point with the UFO hearing, because I, I I streamed the, the whole thing in the conscious war. I streamed the whole whole hearing. Then we had after discussion with people in the group that, that was talking about it. 
but somebody in the hearing, I forgot what it was. I got to go look at it again. Somebody mentioned metric engineering of space time. I said, wait a minute, that's warp drive. Yeah, they, they just enter warp drive propulsion into the congressional record. I caught that easily because I be studying that. I study physics, okay? I'm a self-taught physicist. <laughs> you know, so I said, what? Did they just talk about what? That's why I started calling the SSP disclosure hearings, you know? Oh, wow. Because it's, it's been initiated. I think SSP disclosure has been initiated. I keep seeing naval intelligence all in these damn hearings since the first UFO hearing. Well, one thing I want to yeah. say, go ahead. I've been getting weird friend requests from people in the Air Force and people in the Army that are like Ooh. really high up. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they're like friending, like it, I'm to the point where like it's weirded me out. Like um, one of the guys, I told him, like, you know, you, you I, I, because he came to Montauk, this guy, he would come into Montauk and mm-hmm. and check on like the kids and stuff like that and um this guy friend requests me i'm like look i you probably remember me better than you and that puts us on uneven ground you got to say something like the play thing would have been to say something first before you send the friend request and he didn't respond and to be honest with you i blocked him after three days because it's like bro you got to say something he had been on facebook it's like you gotta say something to me or go fuck yourself because, like, you, just, you know what I mean? Like, so like yeah, there's, there's another friend friend army friend guy friend. that added me, another army guy, and he's like saying weird sexual shit to me. What? The like, what the fuck? And then I look him up, and he's got all these. He, I look up the name, and it's all these high fucking classifications and stuff like that. Like, I don't know if I'm being trolled. I don't know if these people, if like it's real accounts or sock accounts or what, but it, it's weird. Whatever it is, what's going on is weird. Oh, right, that is, weird. that is strange. Um, Matthew said hologram on top of hologram on top of hologram, and if we were built into the simulation, how would we truly know or find out the difference? Oh, John has a question. I th- yeah. So okay, how would we know the difference if we were? So just- so this sound like that. It, that sound like that. Uh, um. Oh, is the AI controlling the, the reality? So um, I've been studying this information. It's called the Guardian material, but it, it's coming from this contactee named Ashana Dean. And, and it's in this book. This way it's all start, the book Voyager 2, because I've been studying this like I've been went to college, my own fucking college called Universal Physics. <laughs> and it's physics in there that talks about how manifestation works, how the holographic matrix works. It's all in there. And I don't, it's some people, it's only a few people breaking this information down, but they're not breaking it down like me because I'm, I'm adding all this deep physics in it, this bridging the physics of the physics we know in 3D. And um, it's a perspective that I can see even with Dan Winter's physics that he is at least teaching fifth density physics to um, people. And he don't even realize that he's teaching fifth density physics. Like he just barely, he don't even know about the 12 tree of life. He think the 10 tree is the, the all be all. Because I remember when they did that, that video with Elena in the um, Stargate and the guy that, that was basing those crystals with Dan, um, Dan Willis, he's talking about the tan tree. Well, that's the bullshit of the o- o- Omicron Draconians that have been trying to put us in this negative fucking timeline. So like I said, with that information and you understand that there's a hologram, well, it, then you got to say what you mean by hologram. You're talking about is just some fucking light. Well, shit, you can fucking... Um, change the temperature you know about temperature inversion they used to blame on ufos well that would distort a hologram <laughs> oh, you're changing wow. the density of the air so you're gonna create different refraction in the light if you talk about photonic light as a hologram right or right. are you talking about the holographic matrix which is involving manifestation you know when you understand that through quantum physics so that's what you got to understand matthew <laughs> Good luck. Well, I think that's a um that's a new person that I've been talking to, and I think you guys mm-hmm. would have a, a great conversation. So Matthew, um well, go look for the conscious war on the um on Telegram and yeah. Yeah, there I will go. definitely share that with him. Um, yeah. 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 So we kind of bonded over Egypt. So what else is new that you actually Oh, oh yeah, let's go back to Glad New. What, what, yeah, because well, um, I'm also thinking about uh, all these hearings because 
I don't know. It just seems like a lot of theatrics. And like Scott said, like he's, he doesn't really get excited about it. Like me, I feel like aliens. Well, no, I, yeah, I'm because it, he's got no. This is still be folk. People will still be focused on their day to day. Like, OK, it's alien. Okay, Look, ever I since my the Navy bills? came How out, my bills? <laughs> this was a fucking goddamn charade ever since the Navy out of nowhere in 2017 said, yeah, we're going to tell our pilot to take you full seriously. And I'm like, I'm about the only one in the fucking disclosure community like, wait a minute. What the hell is this? Where's the Air Force at? And if this is the partial disclosure that Corey Good warned us about, where's Antarctica disclosure? And where the fuck is Air Force? Air Force missing in action. They gone. And I keep seeing these Navy pilots, Navy, 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 and DOD. Navy and Pentagon, Navy and Pentagon. And then until I saw, and I've been, this, it was just a theory. I was thinking, wait a minute, this is the Alliance doing this. This is the Earth Alliance that Corey and um, um, David Wilcott was telling us about. And I say, wait a minute. And then when they had the UFO hearing, that official UFO hearing in the Congress, it was a Navy intelligence guy in there. I say, wait a minute. That's solar, that's solar war. What the fuck is going on here? This doesn't look like this is the enemy doing this. So what is happening, and Scott sees it, is a charade going on. But the charade going on is the alliance playing with themselves. Okay? When they keep blaming the Pentagon, this also connects in the whole... Um, Oh, yeah, we on Facebook. I can't say that. You know, the, the fucking yeah. Holocaust thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that shit. I'm even thinking about the fact that why is the yeah. Pacific Ocean, so the Pacific Ocean covers half of the world and it's empty, mm -hmm. right? And then Antarctica, I mean, I always understood that no one could go to Antarctica. Now, all of a sudden, they got cruises to Antarctica? Like, things are I didn't see opening that. up. You can go on a cruise. But look, interesting. But look, but when I was when saying they it, had it, a no fly mm -hmm. see where they could shoot you down, or, you know, if you go <laughs> right, and all of a sudden now we got cruises going. Like, really? What? Well, they, they, I remember they had that quite a long time ago. But then again, this makes me think because I've had a lot of weird jobs that were like double jobs. This makes me wonder now. Yeah, um, like there's this guy that I, I worked at this. I cleaned this building, and he's talking about how he's going to like Antarctica, and this was probably like six seven eight years ago or something like that and he's talking about taking a trip to antarctica so but it's really restricted the way they do it and i don't know i feel like it maybe it's opened up recently or something like that more but yeah if all this shit you, i've been we've been hearing the background from all these sources if that's all true like you got multiple sources you got the alex carrier you got elaine denon you got um, it you got feel like it's a Mandela, like people yeah. are like making it like a Mandela, like no, it's always been like. No, well, look, a Mandela <laughs> is a timeline shift. If that's happening, that means mm. the timeline shift. And and Alice Carr even talked about the archaeologists will find a record of another timeline in the record. So we won't just find the history that we we still got memories of. We will find some other shit that don't supposed to be there. But well, yeah, yeah, this is why everybody's teeth are going bad because. Uh, like, um, no, but Chris Anatra, he says that your teeth mm. are like time crystals. Oh. Are you noticing that your teeth having, like, strange decay, like, quick, rapid decay? Yeah, I lost all my molars uh, years uh, yeah, ago. So. Yeah, like, this is why, like, all, here we are in the modern world losing teeth faster than, you know, Egyptian mummies. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> but look, back to the, like, um... Back to that, that. Let me finish off this glad news before we get on another topic. The disclosure is happening, but is the alliance seem to be playing with themselves because this connects with, like I say, with the the Holocaust thing, where they had the they have people from the DOD exposing the bad guys over and over again. I'm saying this with doctors. This is all tying together. I like the like I was saying um, with the thing that the disclosure community not being represented, so it looks like nothing happening because. We not being fucking represented. These people out there are confused. They don't know about densities. They don't know that ascension is going on. They don't know we transit in the fourth density. They they look at the Schumann resonance. They just oh, it's just an electromagnetic field that's resonating and hitting, responded by the sun. Okay, if it responded by the sun, do you know that's affecting your consciousness at the same time, affecting your time flow and all that? No, you don't know that because you confused by UFO people that don't know the fuck going on. They can't even understand the concept of densities. So that's why I said it's going slow because they slowing the timeline down you know, of disclosure. That's why I look like nothing happened, but I see naval intelligence all throughout here. You know, I see the alliance all throughout here. I mean, even AOC was in the hearing acting like she was competent. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, AOC competent, asked the right question. She was asking the, the names of the corporations. 
that was hiding the technology. Interesting. And and um, you had one congressman ask, "Are, are the government in contact with aliens? Are we in co- communication with aliens?" And the, and and David Gross said, oh, "I can't say that unless we're in some you know skill for something." And I say, "Wait a minute, that's yeah. going to get people who are very curious. Like, why if they shit to this, why the fuck they can't talk about it in private?" But they did that deliberately because Tim Burchard reminded people. He said, I'm, I'm asking you stuff that I know you can't say. You're going to say that that because I want this to get this on the public record. They let people see. Yes. And then another thing broke with News um, um, Nation. They sit there asked Lockheed Martin, was they reverse engineering alien space crowd? And they said, oh, you got to ask the government about this. I said, they didn't deny it. Lockheed Martin, we know in the Scottish community, they've been building the whole goddamn Infa- interstellar infrastructure, the ICC. Like, come on. But yeah, that's where we at. The reason ain't it don't look like shit not happening because the time I've been so done because ain't none of us, ain't none of us out there talking to Tim Burchard, talking to Laura Ingram, hitting those audience of those sleepers out there. That's what I say about what the guy that was asking about the the um is it is we, we dealing with holograms and stuff. The whole damn universe is a holographic matrix, okay. <laughs> it's all a holographic thing. You are on point. Light, sound, and vibration. Yeah. Yeah. You, we're, 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 you could take all the matter of every human being in on this planet, and it'd be the size of a sugar cube. We're all <laughs> just like, all of oh, us. Oh yes, yes. <clears throat> Say that again. I said we are all just like you could take all the physical matter that of every person on this planet, and it'd be mm-hmm. the size of a sugar cube. Right. Atoms yeah. are we're we're just a bunch of oh. spinning atoms which create yeah, light most of that empty space matter. Yeah, most of that empty space in that we, we really don't have physical matter to us. It's we like a light. Hollow. Yeah, there's a well, light. It is. It is and I like think that said. physical matter that is left has something to do with our soul and not our body. <clears throat> mm-hmm. What is it when you say uh there's a word the term sleepers, there's the term NPCs. What 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 do you call the people around us that are in denial of everything that you say right now? Damn fools! <laughs> like like they're talking not about not necessarily to be right. insulting, but I right. mean, are are they NPCs? Are they like uh, oh, shared, okay. shared consciousness? Are they what what would you say like when you can just clearly state these things and someone's like that's bull, you know, like. Or the people that are actually. Uh, before you came on, Jermaine, I, I was discussing the fact that we have a certain person in charge. And what scares me is how events are going, prices changing, weird stuff going on with banks and so on. And you would think that the natural progression would be vote against that particular person. But instead, I said, I've seen that this rational judgment that I have is, is not necessarily existent in us that I wouldn't be surprised if that person were to serve again. So how do you explain the people who can uh, see it? You're talking about biting. But not, yeah, but I was trying not to say anybody's name. I'm just <laughs> saying that people who can see that we're failing or drowning or going towards a a negative uh, future with the way, if things continue this way, how do you explain the existence of these people who are like, no, things are good. You know, like they're just moving forward. uh Are they NPCs? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's all the above because the dark, the dark side is panicking. So people who are not healing their trauma, they're not overcoming their fears that their fears are controlling them. The dark side is controlling them or possessing them. So that's the NPCs. They're possess- being possessed. And you got people in their ego, don't want to understand they lost the battle. You was wrong. The conspiracy theories are right. The UFO people was Double right. Down. You UFO the bumpers. You ain't Double win down. shit. You lost temperature version Venus. That's all bullshit. We know that now. Even the public know that now. You lost the battle. So you got people that don't want to sit there, give up the fight because they are lost. They can't admit defeat. So you got those people, you know, then you got arrogant motherfuckers that think they know everything, like the scientists. Because really they're trying to criticize cool. David Grush testimony. Oh, he don't got no firsthand account. Motherfucker, I was at East City and I saw a goddamn <laughs> ship in front of me 
And I got video of the motherfucker talking about who ain't got firsthand account. A lot of people, in, that's a, well, back to, ain't nobody in this coach being represented. We got to have a lot of accounts of, of firsthand accounts of, that's of shit. That's the word I was looking for, and Matthew said it. He said cognitive dissonance. Oh, yeah. yes. Hell yeah. But then I, I saw a meme the other day, and it says, I, my, um, I identify as these words. I told you so. <laughs> 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 I, I, but this is how I identify as my pronouns or something. <laughs> 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 So, thing I try to remember when it comes to people who are not aware and not awake yet is that they really they you have to look at them as they have been brainwashed. They are in a state of hypnosis, you know. And Trust we were the once, hypnosis power was really yes. good. we you were once people? we were once those people, you know. Absolutely. So we just have to remember that that they just they haven't found their way to snap out of it yet. We just have to keep focusing on healing our own selves so that way we can be that example. And be that frequency that eventually will help them rise up. It definitely you know? proves that people are waking up in ways because I see people, things that I have said to certain family members, and then this year, like three years later, they're like, Did you know? And I'm like, You know, I just <laughs> like, <laughs> remember when I was losing my mind? Like, <laughs> like, it's like really, it's in waves. Like, you're, you know, we, we, were you know looking at people in 2020 but remember in 2012 some people were looking at us and 1918 people were looking so it, even over hundreds of years there's been people that are screaming like the world is on fire and everybody else is like oh shut up i gotta go to work you know I right <laughs> exactly yeah. all that happened right um, now so it's ridiculous because yeah, oh, 1918 there was Oh, the world's coming to an end. 1999, the world was coming to an end. 2020, the world was coming. To... So I'm just noticing, you know, how you just have to be so fully aware and not being recruited into other people's fight, but to really just focus on what matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Aurora, she said it good because people forget that they were once asleep too. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like maybe like myself, not really. But uh, most people yeah. are, and most people yeah, have some experience yeah. to jar them awake. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was a contact or remembering memories or, or something that happened to them that made them realize that this stuff was going on. You know what I mean? And, and that's the same thing in the uh, 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 the vaccine community. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> the reason why people words. are on to this <laughs> and on to what they're doing is because they had uh, a family member or a child injured by this you know what i mean yeah. and this before mm -hmm. covid and now mm -hmm. with covid people wake up to this stuff because of the Don't same thing yeah you almost said it it's called the I'm holocaust bad. it's called the holocaust yeah, the holocaust, holocaust. Before the holocaust. <laughs> i'm sorry they didn't hear me but yeah. before the holocaust you know what i'm saying there's a lot of people that were asleep then and they've woken up because something has happened to them. You know what so I mean? So Zonda said that some people them. wake up and they go back to sleep and it's not necessarily that people go back to sleep. Every day I wake up and I would like to think that everything that we know is not true and that it, it's just easier that way because you get overwhelmed and burnt out and it's hard, like we were discussing in the very beginning, how do you stay positive? So it's kind of hard to stay positive when like I'll say in 2017 for me, there's a super highway coming from Mexico all the way to Canada and they're going to take all your guns and they're going to put a blue dot on your mailbox. And they're gonna, and I was like, ah, uh, like, how do I get out? Like, you know, like I, I was losing. <laughs> so it's easier to like step out and turn that all off and, and, and ignore it and submerge yourself into these hobbies or day-to-day -day activities than it is to actually face this and try to remain positive. Because some people really don't have that thing that Aurora has or this thing that Jermaine, Scott, or Arkeen has that allows them to know this and do something about it or or have a voice or remain positive and go forward. Not, yeah, not, not get overwhelmed, you know? Not get overwhelmed. It, some people lose their jobs and they jump mm -hmm. out of the window, okay? Yeah. So people can't yeah. really handle these ideas. And like you said, um, the, the idea of these things happening 
you would think, no, this isn't happening so that you could sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So how how do you sleep at night? I drink wine. This still doesn't make me sleep at night. So. Yeah, you guys just made the point that I wanted to make. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's like, if the public were to accept the reality of what we're saying, then that means that they have to deal with it in their lives. And why should they have to do that? That's our yep. problem. Well, it, it also, there's this loving acceptance that we kind of have to have for people that we have to understand that you're special. You're a star seed. You have a job. Some of these people are not our new souls. So they don't have the same equipment that we got. Right. Exactly. And, and I mean, a lot of people need to feel like it's okay to believe in all this stuff. You know what I mean? Right yeah. now, before it's not okay. You know what I'm saying? You get shunned. You get alienated. You're a weirdo. You know what I mean? And so that was a couple of years that's, ago. That's another thing with this the whole disclosure thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not happy that it's coming from the government, but at the same time, it has to for these normies. You know what I mean? Because now it's okay to explore this subject further. You know what I'm saying? They just mm-hmm. let it let you know, oh, you're not going to be ridiculed. It's OK. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's it's weird like that. But that's what these sheeple need. You know what I mean? They need the go ahead. They need the So you're because everybody has this ego and this defense mechanism. They don't want to be shunned. They don't want to be ostracized. They don't want to be looked at like they're different. You know what I mean? So once the government lets them know it's OK. I'm hoping that we can get in there and start giving them some real truths. And some shit that they've been starving for, you know what I mean? Yeah. So then, got... how that also mm-hmm. leads to another thing, because it's like, why is the government uh, feeding it and giving it? Why are there so many movies that are, are you know, coming out with this? Why are there people talking about it on the news? Because now that you become the handler of the truth, what is the true purpose of them becoming this handler of truth? Right. Is that anything? Is that, is that anything that they say is fake? It's fake, you know. It's right. that. That's what. That's the that control that control they get to say. Oh no, that one's not real. That that other one is. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, now, that little that thing. Makes room. That makes room for what we call controlled opposition because the people mm-hmm. who come along and they have the right story and the right information and it looks good, but then they they're led to lead you down these wrong roads and avenues because. It's controlling the narrative. Opposition. Somebody trying to control the fucking narrative. And that's what yeah. this sermon come in. Because like I said, I got UFOs harassing me every fucking night. You know? So it's like, come on with that already. The people sitting here still debating. You still seeing people debate. I dare actually you UFOs. How do we know this ain't Russia or China? Motherfucker, it's all the above. Okay? It's, that, make it more simple. It's all the above. Multiple choice question. Okay? It's all the above. That's what it is. It ain't no, they say, oh, these, these groups, uh, is, is these aliens hostile? What aliens? Is the Grange, is the, the, is the fucking Draco? What the fuck you trying to say? It's multiple groups. It ain't just one big ass lump of data. That's all they know. I know. If you got 33 to 36 kinds of humans on the planet, which a lot of people don't know that. They think everybody's just human, but that, right. you know, that's why we call it mankind, which mm-hmm. people are saying you're man, but... I'm going to throw this at you. I really honestly think that real humans were actually like chimpanzees or something like that. Whatever it is that we are, we're just like <laughs> hybrids of some sort. We're not even the real human. So there's this basic level of understanding that people have. It's all just built on these uh, fake blocks, you know? Fake mm-hmm. blocks. <laughs> oh, everybody's <laughs> history. history is a lie. Everybody who clings um, on to like their origin or where they're from. I'm sorry. Guess what? It's a lie. You know what I'm saying? All of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every bit of it. You know what I mean? It's even, a narrative even, being even controlled. Even things that we know now, people try to like, like the Anunnaki and all that shit, they, how they manipulate us and create us. I'm here to tell you, man, we were here a long time before the Anunnaki got here. Yes. You know what I'm saying? There, there's been humans on this planet for millions of years. You know what I mean? A long yes, time. You know exactly. what I'm saying? We're, we're but in like two to think that that's what you are, you know what you're saying? different and special. Like, when everybody, I, mm-hmm. I believe pretty much everybody has at least, you know, a drop of Anunnaki blood. Like this, this has been cycled around so long that to think just because you're O negative makes you Anunnaki, like eh, everybody's got to That's, that's what they, like, like, like I say, that also connects to dragon lines too. 
it's because it gets complicated you know, with the blood type. Unless stuff, you're but, unless you're from yeah. a tribe where they guard their bloodlines for dear life, mm -hmm. everybody's got a piece. So you're not necessarily special or royal or any of those things because you think, you know. Well, the, the thing is, as I'm learning from the guardian material, the angelic human is the ones that got the 12 strand potential, you know, right. at least. That's the ones that's mostly- That's the, based on yeah. souls, not blood, yeah. right? That's not- Well, no, no, yeah, that's going, yeah, because you can't represent blood when you go in higher density. They don't- Right, don't so these things but, are, um, these are based on- So this is, yeah, this is like, so like I said, that this mainly, the star seeds, because you, you got you got categories. The star seeds got potential for seven to 12 strand potential. So that means that other potential is already there, but they got the potential for higher. Then the indigos, they got even higher, like 30 to 48 strand DNA. And when you talk about 48, you're talking about 48 density. That's outside this universe. That's what you're looking at when you're thinking about. <clears throat> when you dig into the, the blood type information in the DNA, when you look at the DNA strands, you're talking about connecting to multiple densities and access to multiple timelines. And that's what a lot of people, I mean, we know in the Scotia community, but they don't have a fucking clue in the UFO community and they damn sure don't have a fucking clue in the mainstream side of the community because they're still stuck that, in the physical. When you don't have the spiritual aspect connected yep. to it, it's, so yes. like, it's, a, it's like a really isolated perspective. Exactly. I'm say this, wake up number 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mothman prophecy, I love that. Like wake up number 37. So, you know, which, yeah. version, which version of you are you? Yeah, that's what I said. Like the whole thing about racism, the racism is done by the negative groups because the guardians, who's mostly responsible for these groups, and also you got federation people with the cedar with seeding the, the, the bloodlines. <clears throat> they want the race to mix up because they want to give everybody a 12 um, strand potential package in time for the ascension wave. You know, they can handle the energy and bring the earth along into fifth density. They want the race to mix up and have sex with each other. They don't want this division. Yeah, That's the Orion you, group. That's the you're, Draco. You're, you're yeah. an asset. You're a DNA asset. Yes. Like, for the like, ascension of the universe. I mean, yes, you got bloodlines here, especially on the money in the goals, that is important for the fucking ascension. If they so are not, because, yeah. Because you said sun, I wish we had Alexis Rose here to talk about the new um, solar mm -hmm. science because we're yeah, that's part of the energy this, uh, sh setting up the ascension wave. We're still getting close. We're in the middle. Of, we're coming close to the middle of the eleven-year cycle for the solar solar blasts and solar um, flares, and it, it hasn't even hit the max yet. We still got like what one or two. We got still about two years to go. Um, have you been monitoring the solar cycles, anybody, um, or the effects around you of the solar cycles? Well, I just look at the Schumann, but that's definitely Alexis' expertise because I don't even know a lot of that science, even though I lot, know a lot of physics. I don't know that specific. She know that so well. She's so amazing. We got the yeah. same sun and the same moon and the same, oh, I think, Venus. Too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. But anyway, um, yeah, so... With the sun, what do you, what importance does the sun play in this since you mentioned it? Oh, the sun is what's like when we get the, um, the solar flares or these cycles, these are the pulse waves that set up basically the energy um, set up in steps. And it's, this goes with your DNA activation in, in cycles is for the ascension, you know, the ascension, the fifth density, or, you know, which is jumping in and what the guardians call it, they call it Harmony Universe 2, which means fourth fifth and sixth density all in harmony with each other so all those densities contains similar physics laws of physics you know then you go out of there you go in harmony universe three which will be seven eighth and ninth density that's a different physics you know that's what uh, you know i have learned from the guardian material which is the stuff that the cedars are that's the intergalactic confederation the same people is the patal same people they that's their information that they brought um uh, some some you know, certain indigos like Ashan Dean, Lisa Renee, and others. There's only a few out there. And also my friend Siobhan is a is a guardian, you know. She's part of that. Because she's an indigo. She's part of the guardian. Well, when it she's comes to sun, yeah. what people should be aware of, they're still they're still putting out articles saying that, oh, the sun is just so hot, your blood just still gets thick and you just Man, they're not kind of pass out <laughs> and you, you know, so they're 
they're really, really just trying to promote this thing that it's the sun that's toxic and poison, but it's the sun yeah, that gives you that, vitamin that D. Is what is, is, is charging yeah, you up. Saying, don't decision. look at the sun, but then there's meditation for this where you do mm. look at the sun. You do need the sun. You need it. And so here we are in these air conditioned boxes, and I'm guilty because I stay in this AC full blast. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but I do go outside. But people are like really scared of sun now. Uh, it, no, that's bullshit. Okay, no, that's why you see with the plants. What what happens if you keep the plants out the sun? They die. So obviously, if you if we need fucking sun, a lot of life on the, the planet needs sun. Obviously, you must need sun. So anybody telling you that is full of shit. And they, they, they the enemy, you know, because the sun is sending in energy that is affecting you physically and consciously, you know, so you can't sit there be avoiding the sun. Uh, someone else pulled in the plants for their vacation and the plants all died because they were like afraid to leave them in the sun. But we will survive. It feels like you won't because that sun be tearing you up. Oh, I was in Egypt and it was 110 degrees and it will tear you up, but you will survive. You drink you some water, you will survive. <laughs> no, it's, it is getting hotter because it changed color. It's white now. It used to be yellow. So yeah. that's the, that's, it's getting ready to pop for the ascension. And it's I not that, say, you know, the pulse, like, the final pulse. You came back, but I'm still the same. I was in the sun for 40 days. I was out there, y'all. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> but shit, look how dark you are. I mean, it ain't gonna do much to you. It's like a cast it out. <laughs> Unless it's gonna burn your damn skin off. <laughs> yeah, I was more worried about the flies and the mosquitoes because the <laughs> flies, evidently, when it hits 100 degrees, they multiply like at uh, an enormous rate. I was more annoyed by the flies. But anyway. Hey. So. No. This is cool. I think Matthew Turner wants to talk to you and, 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 he wants you to check him out on the Matrix Minds. Mm -hmm. so I think potentially everyone here could be a guest on Matrix Minds. So I oh, would... he got a show. Yeah. Oh, you know, all these yeah. star seeds got shows and shit. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Well, we like, got oh. no choice, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you know everybody needs to tell. Gotta their... take the initiative. Oh, yeah. We gotta everybody take the needs initiative. to tell, take, take their or tell their portion of the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and don't let take your the voice be less. Whether it's even if it's a cartoon that you want to publish, whatever it is, like I just really think everybody should go ahead and use their voice to express themselves because we cannot afford to have power pulled up in one place ever again. We have to stay. Exactly. This is how controlled opposition takes over because mm -hmm. one person, they sound good at first and then they just fall off and you're mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, where the hell is she going with that? You got to yeah. snap back. So, you know, but uh, each person I would like for you to go through and maybe have a final thought, whether it be mm -hmm. about positivity or disclosure or the truth, what, whatever it is that you think uh, that you think is the most important message to share. And I will start with Aurora. Wow. Um, I, I know that was about something that. like this. <laughs> so, um. Just whatever you think is okay. something important that you think, like maybe it was something you were thinking about before the show that you thought, you know what, everybody needs to know this. Oh, gosh. Uh, believe in yourself and oh. be kind to yourself and gentle yourself and pay attention to what your thoughts are. Try to think the thoughts that are the happiest. and um, But don't be afraid to feel the feelings that, um, that uh, from the experiences that you go through either. Don't, don't allow yourself to feel things too, you know, in order to get through it and stay focused on your timeline of highest love and joy. You just stay focused on that and just take one step at a time. You'll find your way through this. Don't get overwhelmed by trying to save everyone all at once. We can't do that. We have to do a little bit at a time and just what we are drawn to pay attention to what you're drawn to. That's going to tell you who you are. And then that who you are, when you remember that, that's just really going to be the thing that guides you and gives your life meaning and makes it the most fulfilling. So that would be what I'd say. So, um, Lazonda and Jax, they were like, you glow. And I did want to point this out since the last time I've seen you, you're, you're, you're looking even younger, like oh. energetically, like, I don't know, is you're flowering. Oh, and thank you. you are here with us. Like you, you look at a new level of peace at this time. 
really do. Yeah. So they love you. Um, what's your channel, your yeah. YouTube, and how can people find you? You can find me on YouTube at Aurora Diamond Heart. Just type in Aurora Diamond Heart on YouTube. And uh, yeah, come subscribe to my channel, hang out. I do tarot readings one, once a week. And I also usually talk about um, whatever I've been thinking about that week or experiencing that week. So That's how I like to roll. That's how I like to roll. Okay, our key. I am raw. <laughs> what do I think is the most important uh, message to put out there? It's a really hard one. Um, I guess that like the reason why the stuff is hidden from us is because it's the military that's doing it. And uh, we have technologies that could be benefiting all of mankind, but instead they're being used for pretty much literally the opposite purpose. So that's why disclosure is important is because it does affect everyone. It doesn't just affect the people who are in these programs and people who have, you know, had stuff happen to them. It really does affect everybody on the planet because we have the technology to easily feed and clothe and shelter everyone on earth and have a, a better, brighter future. Um, and yeah, it's just, uh, it's time to allow that to happen. And that's that's what I have to say for the people who, you know, not that they're really listening to our podcasts or anything, but to the to normal people out there that think this stuff doesn't matter because this doesn't affect them because they got to go to work tomorrow. It's like, well, why do you think you have to go to work tomorrow? Why do you think things are the way they are where people are working so much they can't even think and they still can't pay the bills and all this stuff? It's because there's this power control system that's lording over us. So disclosure is directly connected to that. And that's something that I wish people, I guess, like more people understood. I think people in our community understand that a bit better, but there's a lot of people that they don't even so now they're accepting it's real right and they're saying it, it doesn't matter because they still got to go to work well that's why it matters i guess that's that's my important message it's funny because like you're saying it affects everybody the dissonance and dis-ease from one man to the next of mankind this is something that could be peace for everyone instead it creates dissonance right but then like you you said something funny about what what we why is everybody going to work? What if everybody just fucking stopped paying rent? What if everybody stopped paying water, sewer, rent? What if everybody stayed home? They can't get you all at once. You know exactly. what I mean? Like if everybody exactly. Look like what the people of France are doing. They're like do. marching into BlackRock. The people right. of France, they marched into BlackRock. They're making their demands clear. I haven't really actually haven't paid attention to that for a while. But yeah, they're, you know, it you can. We can make waves when we allow ourselves to. If everybody jumps all at once, <laughs> you know, <laughs> jump. But uh, okay, that's awesome because they're gonna be like, "Ooh, they're anarchists." But um, Scott <laughs> boy, what you got? Uh, well, oh wait, wait a minute, you a channel, uh, Arkeen, your channel. Oh, it's disclosure now with an explanation explanation point at the end. Like disclosure now. <laughs> yeah, disclosure now. Like it's a demand. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, mama. No plan. Anyway. <laughs> I'm okay, so Scott. All right. What I would say is that <clears throat> we can go ahead and start getting a head jump, a head start. Uh, start treating people and acting like what we would act like post disclosure. You know um, what I mean? After everything's all said and done and if we get what we want and everything comes out, why don't we start now treating people like we want a, the new paradigm to be like? You know what I mean? Because we still treat people pretty ugly, all of us do. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we, need, we, need to, we need to all treat each other better, man. We really, really do. Give each other some, cut some slack with each other, give each other some breaks and realize that we're all purposely flawed and we're all trying to be better. You know what I mean? So just be better to everybody and don't take shit so seriously. Great. You know what that reminds me of? I'd like to teach the world to sing. <laughs> but then they want yeah. you to buy a coat. So you don't have to buy a coat, but act right, you know? Don't okay. use what's done to you in the past as an excuse to treat others like crap because i think a lot of people do that 
Now, Reverend, Reverend, Reverend. Oh, I'm okay. So, <clears throat> like, don't bust up going. with no quantum physics or nothing. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get everybody. I'm, I'm, it's like a sit rep, like when I do on my lives. So look, official UFO disclosure has happened. Whatever the you know you see, what is happening? Is it the bad guys doing it or what? They take his UFO seriously. So the next step, as we go into, is step two, which I call step two or ET disclosure, which mean what we meet the ETs. This means when I get to smoke a blunt with the Han of you know of the commander of the Federation, you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's step two. That's what's coming. Okay. But that's going to be difficult because, like I said, the Scotia community is not being fucking represented. It's the UFO community. So we need to change the narrative of that bullshit, you know, and get the disclosure community represented. Or we're going to be waiting a little longer and people complain about going to work. Your ass going to go to work again when you don't want to feel like on that day. Because when we get disclosure, you ain't going to do that shit no more. Because we're going to have replicators. We're going to be traveling. You're going to Star Trek future. Look at fucking Star Trek. They don't go to work. They go on a fucking holiday. No. They sleep in a fucking holiday. That's what's coming. Okay. Like I said earlier, they talked about what drive being introduced in the congressional. They're taking it seriously. Whatever the case is, you want to interpret somebody taking this shit seriously. They ask in corporation names. They talk about they want to go on a skiff and get the coverage. So that means we are moving toward SSP disclosure. That means the technology, the med beds, all that's coming. But what you got to understand with the timeline in our consciousness, because we are star seeds, and of course, indigos, working together speeds up this fucking timeline. Participation, you know, coordinating. We need to do more of that. We need to coordinate. We need to talk to each other because when star seeds have conversation, it's a fact the timeline. So get your family ready. They always should understand because I got even my sister, my nephew, my brother sending me stuff on Instagram. You know, I've been telling them for five years this shit was coming. Now they understand we already here. So let's get ready to meet the, the um, Federation. That's what y'all need to prepare for because that's coming sooner than you expect. And how do people find you if they want more of you cussing them out and talking about blunts? Okay. Um, <laughs> I got a Twitter, but I'm shadow banned up there. I got an Instagram. I'm shadow banned up there. But so go on the Telegram, the Conscious War. It's on Telegram. It's not hard to miss. It even says war on consciousness in the fucking image of the profile picture. So it's not hard to miss. That's the only one you're going to see up there that's using that image. So when you get in there, then you'll be to, you know, keep in touch with me. You'll be to be in when I'm teaching about advanced universal physics and all the other stuff that you need to understand for us to get to the ascension. Okay, so you told them about Telegram. All right, so my thought would be this. If you were in your bed right now and you could not move and could not talk, the one thing that you can control is how you think. Your thoughts, like he's saying, is the collective. You contribute to the collective with your thoughts. And so if your thoughts are, woe is me, if your thoughts are, it's coming to an end and everything's, if your thoughts are negative, take hold of your thoughts and put in a positive thought so that we can balance this timeline and stay focused on manifesting the greatest good for all of us. And this is the one thing that you can do, even if you can't verbalize it to others, even if you're too afraid, you know, to, to speak your truth out loud, but it, you can take hold of your thoughts and this is the thing over time, you, when you take hold of your thoughts, these are the baby steps that you need to become that fierce voice to make bigger moves and make a difference. And it starts right there, that small thing, taking hold of your thoughts. And now do not discount that. Do not discount just how you contribute in these ways. Like I said, whether you're a parent, you know, or not a parent, you know, maybe you can do volunteer work. Maybe you just picking up the trash outside your house, or maybe you just hold the door for somebody, whatever, like small acts of human kindness you can give, they contribute to the collective. Speaking positivity into somebody's life, you become the living water. And it all starts with 
taking hold of your thoughts. And that's what I will say is the way that you best get started to contributing and creating the world that we want. And I'm the first lady, Erica, your cosmic mama. My channel now is the cosmic mama, women of the stars on YouTube. Uh, you can find it on Rumble and forward slash after the link tree, link tree, first lady Erica, and you can check me out. And soon I'll be helping other people take their journey to Egypt. I do theta healing and coaching. And I'm telling you, I know that I can speak words into people's life and give them the living water that they need that that positivity works. You can do it, I can do it, but sometimes we need to borrow that energy from somebody else and that's what I do. So it was great. Y'all had some great comments out there. There were some really cool people out there and I thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you to Matthew with the Matrix Minds and I will share this people's contact with you. Have a good night. See y'all. Good shit, Erica. All right. Yeah, way better. You know, sometimes I want to worry about, like, oh, my God, what's the question? You know. <laughs>